In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get from a 3D design in Autodesk Fusion 360 to a vector drawing that you might want to edit in something like Adobe Illustrator. The basic workflow is that we'll create a design in Fusion. We'll use the drawings workspace to create uh, essentially a blueprint or a technical drawing, export that as a PDF, and then open it in Illustrator where you can make whatever changes you want. Before we go through that process, I want to remind you or introduce you to this feature called Named Views. So uh, we have some typical or kind of default named views, top, front, right, and home. And by clicking on them in the browser here, you can jump to those different views. They're the same views that you'd get if you clicked on the view cube over here. But let's say you had some really specific kind of view you wanted. It's a different rotation and different angle to it, you can right click on named views and create a new name view here. I'll click on it and call it my view. Name views come up in a couple different places. One is in rendering. You can jump to uh, that named view for a render. You can actually have it automatically render all of these views uh, for you every time you make a change to the model. Um, in, in our case, it's going to help us because we can use that, that my view as the angle for our technical drawing. So let's go to that first step where we take um, this 3D design and turn it into a technical drawing or a blueprint. I go to the uh, design menu up here. This allows you to change workspaces. I'll choose design, uh, drawing from design. And it's asking me now what kind of drawing I want to make. Full assembly means that if there were multiple components here, they would all show up. You can also have it be only certain ones, only visible ones. So for us, there's only one component. I'm just going to choose full assembly. Under standard, you can either choose ISO or ask me, and what that does is change the available sheet sizes. So in ISO, it shows only metric sheet sizes. In ask me, it shows ones with inches. The units can be either, so you can still choose uh, millimeters or inches no matter which standard you've chosen. The only consideration for us is whether it's landscape or portrait. I'll choose whatever is appropriate for the part that I'm drawing. So I'm going to just hit OK. Now it gives me a blank drawing and it's filled in some information on the bottom. I don't really care about that. All I'm interested in is the drawing of the part. And as I move my cursor around, you can see it's trying to ask me to place that drawing uh, on, the, on the canvas here. Now uh, you can see that you can choose different views. Uh, it's got all of our named views. You can tell by the icon. It's also got the kinds of views that you would see from the view cube. And it should have also my named view that I created. So here's my specific sort of view. I would say uh, that for this process, what I'd want to do is use the scale that makes it as big as possible. So one to one is not great. Maybe four to one is pretty good. I could even possibly get it even bigger than that. I can type in a scale here and that seems like it'll fit on the page. So I'll go with that. Once I click and hit OK, uh, it will place that drawing. It'll look a lot better than it does now. But there are some options to notice. Uh, is this going to show visible and hidden edges? Is it only going to show visible edges? Is there going to be any shading? For this process, the thing that usually makes the most sense is the visible edges. Uh, and so I'll choose that and then hit OK. So what I've got is a really plain drawing with no shading and no hidden edges showing. And uh, this will be useful in Illustrator. So what I'll do is just click Output PDF. If I don't have this option, I should be able to print to a PDF using whatever process your operating system allows. I can also select light uh, line weights here, and that'll make sure that any darker lines show up as darker in the PDF itself. And I'll hit OK. I'll save it under whatever name I want, and then I'll head over to Illustrator. Okay, now I'm in Illustrator. I'm going to choose File, Open, find that drawing that I exported as a PDF, and open it. And here we are. I can just, essentially at this point, I can start uh, removing parts that I don't need, and what I should end up with is just the, um, the drawing of the part. If I want to make sure I've got everything and kind of close this up, I can go to Document Setup, Edit Artboards, and tell it to just fit to artwork bounds. So hopefully that gives you a workflow that you could use to uh, either create some kind of documentation or a book or some project that involves um, 2D drawings of uh, 3D designs that you've created in Fusion.